what a perfect way to show students their engineering and IT can be fun by making abstract knowledge concrete. It is therefore heartwarming to know that as part of a review of the curriculum of basic and second cycle schools in the country, Ghana is introducing a strong focus on STEM education in order for our children to be exposed to cutting edge knowledge and skills in this area at a tender age. So calculating the accuracy for the ball to enter the hoop has really increased my knowledge on math with the calculations and everything. And the part of the robot too, just like we learned in science, part of the human, in this um, sort of subject, we also learned the part of a robot. Okay, so high places, like I intend to take it to all schools so that they can also have a bit more knowledge on the 21st century and they can develop with how the world is evolving. Being a robotic engineer would be a nice profession because you get to have fun with the robots and experiment on things that no normal student or person would really like interact with. So today we are having a, the launch of our new office premises. We are doing an exposition of newly procured robots and also we are holding a contest for some selected primary schools, second cycle schools, and preschools to showcase to the world um, their knowledge that they have acquired in artificial intelligence and machine learning. We want to create an awareness amongst our parents, guardians, even school institutions so that they know that our kids are capable to do what the kids outside are doing. We also want them to know that these kids, when challenged, they can do a lot of things. So the whole idea is to create an awareness that AI is doing well in Ghana here. The kids are into it. If we, if we get the right platform, if we engage the kids, if we train them, we would get the best out of them. So the whole aspect is to create that awareness out there so that more people can embrace it so that they know that you don't need to be a nerd or a genius before you can actually delve into technology we want schools and to shy away from that theoretical way of learning they should know that it, it, it's about time we delve more into the practical base so that is the essence of this program students are not always into one thing people have different things they do some are into singing dancing and you can't force a child to do something he or she doesn't want to do so if a child has a taste or anything into things like this it's good and it's going to help education very very much because in the next few years these are the things going to run the world if we had had this let's say 10 years ago this ghana would actually be at a very high place or like 10, less, 10 years earlier because I don't know when it started. So if Ghana should have had this 10 years earlier, students or children would have more open and broad mind for building robots and then playing with computers, stuff like this. And that's the future that we are heading towards. That's a technology future, the modern era. That's the age that we are heading towards. I think um, when I saw a demonstration of some young kids on television, I was challenged. I said, no, my son could even do more and better. So, and since he, you know, since I gave birth to him, there's something that really captures his mind. The way the fan moves at home, 
He's always looking at how the fan moves and tries to understand how even the fan moves. So I said, no, this guy looks like he's an engineering person. So when I saw that, I saw that it was an opportunity for him to, I mean, go into it. <laughs>